Hi. Hi guys, it's Nicole. I am really happy to be with you today. Um, you know, I didn't want to come out and speak with you. I felt like I was having this uh, swarm of emotion, just noticing it. You know, uh, the kind where it seems heavy and you know heaviness either by sound or by the force it comes with. You seem to have a bit of both. Um, but I never actually shared, I don't think, how I walk through um, when feelings come, feelings like that. Um, I no longer try to understand it because I know it's not permanent. So uh, sometimes if I play with it a little, and I think I played with it a little earlier on, it could get... It could begin to feel as if I'm identifying with it. That's not so good. Because once you enter that movie, you almost have to fulfill the act. And uh, since it was feeling so yucky, I don't want to fulfill that. So I rested and then I noticed the time went. And it's really breezy here, so it's tough to compete with nature sometimes. And then I said, no, that's just an excuse. I'm going to share what happens, how I deal with it, and how it's okay. So what happened is I thought about a friend who was going through a really rough time. And I know it appears rough, but it's really, really, really good stuff that's happening, that stuff that helps you grow. I don't want to say too much because I'm... I'm live, right? Um, and I, I took too much of that on. I, I know that now because of this swarm of things that, that kind of came towards me. So I was fine. I showered and I took care of myself and I did some work and I went online and I chatted with a few people and then boom, this heavy, 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 heavy feeling. Uh, dancing around me. I noticed it for a bit and I thought, I wonder where is that coming from? <laughs> no, normally when I don't want to feel that way, when I see it, I start to remember and if it's really bad, I start to affirm who I am. I don't usually do that anymore because I remember now very distinctly that I'm not my emotions. So when emotions come, I let them come. And sometimes I get, you know, frazzled by it, but not for long because I know if I do for long, it'll take me down a rabbit hole. And I don't really like going down those anymore. Been there enough times to know that it's not necessary. I just stay in my space and I stay with peace. The peace that I am, the wonderfulness that I am, because I know, like you, I have the DNA of the architect of the universe, so I just rest. And I thought it would be nice not to skip today and just share with you that some days it's like this. But you get through. You don't focus on the emotion because it'll come and it'll go. And the more you pay attention to it, unfortunately, the longer it stays. And the less you pay attention to it, it eventually fizzles out and goes its merry way. Where it goes, I don't know. I don't really care, but it doesn't stay with me. So I wanted to tell you that when you're having an emotion, when you're having a day when they seem like they're swarming you and you forgot to just remember who you are and you started to play with it for a bit and it started to get all over your hand, all over your heart, all, you just have to just rest and just stand. And a way to do that is to take a couple deep breaths, you know, a nice inhale, and then a nice exhale, and you let it all out. And then you look at the thing that's staring you, or the thing that is surrounding you, and you ask yourself, what is it? Is it you? It couldn't be you because it goes and comes, and you're still there. Is it life? It couldn't be life because life is you and you're still here. 
Is it peace? It couldn't be peace. And it's not necessarily something that you need to go with. That's a decision I make. If it's not who I am, then why will I go with it? Because who I am, who you are, stays constant. Yeah? We stay constant. We stay constant because the architect of the universe is constant. So we stay constant like the architect of the universe. And everything else passes. It changes. It changes form. It changes structure. It changes shape. But not us. Not who we are internally. So, if today, although it's brilliantly beautiful outside, you feel a snatch of something not so brilliantly beautiful, remember who you are. I remember. And I hope you remember who you are. Because when we remember who we are, the thing that lurks around us loses its significance. It doesn't seem so big anymore. It doesn't seem so bad anymore. It doesn't seem so hard anymore. I just, I know it'll pass and it's okay. I go on my merry way and I will tell you this. I won't even know when that thing fully has disappeared or dissipated from me. I won't because it's not important. And I know you get this at the level you need to get it. And I know those of you who have experienced it um, understand specifically what I'm saying. And those of you who don't understand it consciously, I know you do unconsciously. So whatever feeling or emotion comes to you, you don't have to take it on. You don't have to run with it. You don't have to be tempted to analyze it to death, which is a tricky way for the brain mind to get you all wrapped up in the thing. You don't have to analyze it. Just know that if it's not you, then it's not. It's not, it's an illusion passing by, trying to get you to star in a movie that is not necessarily real. So that's a choice we make. That's a choice I made. So I came outside to, to share that with you. It's socially distant here. I don't have anybody else around me at the moment. Um, just a bit of wind. But I wanted to share that with you. And I wanted to remind you that you're beautiful. You're awesome. You're divine. You are the stuff that the universe is made of, and we are good like that. So have a blissful rest of the day, because success is you. Bye-bye. Love you.